Alright, today in this video we're going to talk about Layer 2 VPN, uh, more specifically Layer 2 Tunneling Protocol version 3. Uh, why would you want to use L2TP v3? Well, one, it's on the CCIE version 5 blueprint and you, uh, you need to know about this, but also uh, out there if you need to connect two devices that are geographically separated and you want them to be on the same VLAN, uh, you can get a Layer 2 VPN from the service provider uh, and there's many different options. You can do uh, Layer 2 uh, MPLS VPN, like any transport over MPLS, um, or if the service provider doesn't have a MPLS core and they could just do IP transport for you, then L2 TPv3 is an option and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure it and it's actually pretty simple. Uh, this may also be called Ethernet private line, Ethernet uh, virtual connection, and virtual private wire service. They all mean the same thing and let's get into it. Uh, R1 and R3, uh, yes there's R2 in the middle but I represent that as a cloud. As long as R1 has transport to the distant end, so like let's say this is PE1 and this is PE3, um, doesn't really matter what's in the middle as long as they can reach each other you can build this layer 2 VPN and uh, two prereqs you gotta have IPSEF turned on and then you have to have valid reachable loopback addresses on these devices which I do so let me bring up R1 uh, let, let me end real quick do a show IP interface brief and I do have a loopback and I should be able to ping R3's loopback. 3.3.3.3 from my loopback. And we do. So that's all we need. And let's uh, build this. So, what we need to do is first of all, do not put an IP address on the customer facing layer 2 LAN. So, an R1 fast ethernet 0 slash 0, which is right here has nothing assigned to it, no IP address, and I'll get back, and that's my second config. So, but the first config is we need to create a pseudo wire class, and then give it a name. Name it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it R1 for simplistic, simplistic purposes. All right now I'm in the pseudo wire class, what are my options? Uh, pretty much just encapsulation. So encapsulation, and we're going to do L2TP v3, hit enter, and then now we unlocked some other uh, commands and we are going to be doing IP and we're going to do local interface loopback1 okay and since we created that pseudo wire class and uh, loopback1 is the beginning of this layer 2 tunnel and I'm going to do the same thing on layer on uh, router 3 where the local interface is going to be loopback1 which is the 3.3.3 .3 one and so that's going to be the end of the tunnel. Now, now that I created this pseudo wire class, let's apply it to fast ethernet 0 slash 0 here. So if I do a do show run interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, I have nothing. No, uh, no configs. And that's pretty much all you really need to do. So go into interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0, and we are going to do the x connect command. And basically just question mark your way and it's self-explanatory. There's very limited options. So what is the IP address of the peer? Basically what is the loopback of router 3, which is 3.3.3.3. .3 now enter the virtual connection ID or the virtual circuit ID. And this has to be unique. Well, I'm sorry. It does have to be unique if you have multiple layer 2 connections, but it has to match on the other end for this tunnel to form. So let's just say it's between 1 and 3, so we'll say 13. Question mark it out. And two options, encapsulation encapsulation, and pseudo wire class. We're going to do both of them. So encapsulation, L2TP, V3. And then we're going to do PW class. And what is my pseudo wire class name, which is R1? That's it for one side. Like, it's that simple. So let's go to R3 now. Configure that shrink this down config T and let's do a pseudo wire R3 encapsulation L2TPV3 
IP local interface loopback one interface fast ethernet zero slash zero. Let me make sure that this is cleared out, which it is. And we are going to do the X connect command of 1.1.1.1. Virtual circuit ID, uh, I said 13. And then encapsulation L2TPB3, PW class R3. And that's it. That should be it. Now, how do we know if that is working? Well, let's ping 10.0.0.1 all the way to 10.0.0.2. They are on the same subnet and they should be able to ping it, ping each other. So let's bring up PC1. Ping 10.0.0.2. Woohoo! And it worked. Uh, how do we know that it just doesn't do normal routing? Well, that, that's kind of a good question. I mean, I kind of just left you guys in the dark. I mean, if I do a show IP route, there is no 10 network on the on router one. Router one doesn't know about it. It's not even directly connected because there's no there's no IP address. So basically, what it is doing is anything that goes into this interface doesn't matter. This is why layer two, any layer two protocol, can work. Whatever comes in on this interface, boom, takes the tunnel, whee, ends in router 3, and then goes out fast ethernet 0 slash 0 to the other side. So that's why PC1 is able to ping PC2. And we're using ethernet, which is okay. And, and uh, that's it. So let me pull up the config real quick so we can view it and go over it. It was kind of quick, but first thing, create the pseudo wire class. Very easy. Encapsulation L2TPv3. Where do you want this loopback to start? Or this uh, tunnel to start? Loopback 1. Then go into the interface facing the customer and do the X connect command. Question mark your way out and, and self explanatory. Then do the opposite on R3. And that's it. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, my next video which I'm going to roll straight into after this is what's wrong with VPNs over the internet unsecure so how about we secure this layer 2 VPN with IPsec right that's what we want so I'm going to roll straight into that but if you don't want to watch that you just want to watch this then cool I uh, hope this was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing